Hello and welcome to another episode of Pro Tips with Studio Pros. Today we're going to tackle a very important question that you might have on your mind. What is MIDI? Okay, so MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. But that doesn't really mean anything to us. That doesn't help us out at all. Some of you may have heard of MIDI interfaces, while others have not. Those of you who have heard of it probably think it looks something like this. Well, you would be somewhat right, but it can really look like anything. For example, my drum set back here is also a MIDI controller. They even make guitars that can be MIDI controllers. A MIDI controller is any device that can transmit a MIDI signal to your computer. Okay, so now we have somewhat of an idea of what a MIDI controller is, but once the signal gets to our computer, what does it even mean? Well, it's important to know that MIDI controllers don't actually generate any sound. A keyboard that is just a MIDI controller, like this one here, has no ability to produce audio by itself at all. It needs some kind of computer to read that signal, and then the computer is what plays back the audio. Right here I have my MIDI controller going into my computer, and then in my computer I have a session opened up with a software instrument track, and within that software instrument track, I have a virtual instrument open called Keyscape by Spectrosonics. And it basically is a really good sample of a piano. So right now, for example, even though this MIDI controller can't produce sound by itself through my computer, What the computer recorded while I was playing that was not the actual piano sounds, but it was the placement, the duration, and the intensity of notes in time. Now the amazing thing about MIDI is that I can take the same thing I just played, and let's say I don't like the piano sound for it. Since I wasn't recording any real audio, all I have to do is take that data, move it over to a different instrument, and voila. Well, then you might say, if it's not creating any sound by itself, can't I just use a mouse and draw in each one of these notes? The simple answer is yes, you absolutely can. There is nothing a MIDI controller can do that you can't draw in yourself. But think about how complicated it would be and how time consuming it would be to go in and click on each individual notes in time, something like this. And yet to play it took me 15 seconds. So you can see how having the controller can be very helpful. Using a similar thought process, you could see how having a MIDI drum kit would be very helpful when using virtual drums. You know, you get your super good drummer friend to come over, you don't have to set up all your mics in your studio, just have them sit down at the drums and play, and then you'll get the feel and human touch of a real drummer without having to worry about mic placement and getting all the drums tuned perfectly right. You just have this mini data and then you can try out a few different virtual drums that you have. Another thing that's pretty interesting about MIDI is that it doesn't matter how cheap or expensive your MIDI controller is, because at the end of the day, it's still just transmitting a very basic signal. What more expensive controllers will have is maybe a better feel, maybe heavier weighted keys, more knobs and pads you can press, but those are all things that you can then edit once they're already in your computer. So is MIDI really better than the real thing? Well, for someone who works in a home studio, it's invaluable because I get to play all different kinds of instruments by just staying at my desk. Of course, it's very fun to go into a studio and have real musicians, real string players, a cellist, a harp player, but the fact that I can do all this from my desk and get a reasonably good sounding result allows us to be way more creative when we're writing and arranging music. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about the bare bones basics of MIDI 
It's a really important tool in any studio these days, but especially for the solo musician or the home studio. Anyway, please like and subscribe. Leave some comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this video and any other videos we can do in the future. This has been Pro Tips with Studio Pros. Catch you later.